Throughout this week, we've been blown away, bringing you the voices and perspectives of those in need, the local nonprofits that are working to help, and of course, the everyday people who are volunteering and donating. One of those groups helping out is Shelter KC. Last week, our Claire Bradshaw highlighted this organization's efforts to get Thanksgiving turkeys to people who need it most. We were there when they smoked about 100 birds, and now she is checking back in with them as they are gearing up to distribute those turkeys. Claire, good morning. Hey, good morning, Daisha. We are here at Shelter KC where they're keeping those meals for their turkey convoy. That's what we're uh, highlighting this morning. So we're here with Eric Berger. He's the executive director for Shelter KC. Eric, tell us, you know, how many people you're serving? Who are these people that will benefit from the turkey convoy today? Yeah, so mostly it'll be shut-ins, and we'll do about 262 meals that we'll have volunteers um, take out in our community to make sure that people get a good Thanksgiving meal and a little bit of some Thanksgiving greeting so that nobody is forgotten this Thanksgiving. And we're going to have our photographer walk into where you're keeping some of the meals, but tell us what, what will they get when it, that meal is delivered today? So they'll, they'll get a complete traditional um, meal of Thanksgiving and stuffing. And then we've also got all the things that go with that, like rolls and cranberries and um, um, pies. And we also then are giving out fresh fruit, um, bag of, of oranges and, and apples that will all be delivered by a caring volunteer. And who made this possible for these people these, uh, that will get these meals today? Um, the community of Kansas City. Um, everything from food drives to donors that donated turkeys to volunteers that came and smoked the turkeys. Um, it was a group effort um, to help us serve our community. Okay, great. Thank you so much, Eric. So Turkey Convoy happening today. Those volunteers will arrive here shortly at 8 a.m. for a breakfast. At 8.30, they're going to send out those first meals to people in Kansas City and need to make sure they're getting the Thanksgiving that they can feel thankful for. Back to you, Daisha. Absolutely, Claire, and we appreciate you highlighting and sticking with them on their journey to helping out so many in our community.